Welcome to the Sports Show. We got a lot to talk about. The Vikings in overtime. The Gophers going to the Citrus Bowl. Tori Hunter comes back. The Timberwolves and different thoughts on their resurgence or lack thereof. Plus, I the think it's a lack wild. thereof, Max. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's start with <laughs> let's start with the Vikings. Well, they they beat a team that's two and eleven right now, but uh, I thought Bridgewater played pretty good today. He threw Whoa! Some, he played some. Uh, he threw some good long passes. Uh, he looked uh, the last couple of games. He's uh, done a lot better. You're coming around on him. I'm not coming around. I'm okay. coming around because he played against two terrible teams. <laughs> but I do think he's got some potential. I talked to Jerry Burns about him today. Jerry Burns says he still got some things he's got to do, but he, he's got a chance. And he's got no running game ready to work with. No. So that's a good sign. No. Yeah. Yeah, they got no defense to go against today either. The Jets, you mean? Yeah. yeah Jets, let's take wins at this point, Patrick. Sure, they're six and seven now. So they uh, said you had them go in the playoffs this morning. So uh, you know Miami got beat today. They maybe can go down there and beat them, and then then you gotta then you gotta wonder. So, but uh, yeah, six and seven there. That was hard work today, but they won. A nice finish. That's one of those. Remember. Uh, Remember Chris Carter beating the Bears in overtime in the Metronome that time yeah. on Monday night? That was kind of the same kind of finish. You throw a little pass in there. He All of a sudden, game's over. 87 yards. Yeah. And Jerry is right. I, I, had him, I didn't have him going. I said it'd be a miracle. <laughs> but <laughs> it could know. happen. Well, sure it could. Now, that is classic Sid Hartman. It'd be a miracle, mm. but it could happen. I could get a date with Kate Upton, too. But what it'd be a miracle, hell? but it could happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Louis, how do you feel about this team this year? Have they overachieved, underachieved, or what you thought? I don't think that they're overachieving, but I think they're fun to watch. I know they're getting better. I, I love what the coaching staff does with them. I, I really think they got a great coaching staff, and I think Bridgewater's really done exceedingly well, even against bad teams. Like Sid says, well, Buffalo was uh, <clears throat> supposedly a bad team. They've had a pretty good year. St. Louis won some big games. So he, he's... Uh, you know, Bridgewater's come along, and, and I think he's he, he's making the coaches real happy. They like him, and I think uh, everybody's got to be pleased with what he's done. How was the crowd today? Better than last week? Better than last week, Not yeah. And, cold, of course, huh? they stuck around. And it was 35. It was yeah, it was 35 degrees. It felt pretty good on the field. Yeah. They the had the worst offensive line on, on the field today in the history of the game. The Vikings. After Vikings. their injuries. They yeah. lost to the left tackle, left guard. Charlie Johnson got hurt. So they got three guys in there who never played before. Well, and Bridgewater had to be real good. That's what I'm saying. Huh? Bridgewater had to be real good then, not even against a bad team. They, they weren't playing the Patriots. They weren't playing Yeah, CM. but when, you're, sure. when you got a bad line that you're saying they don't, <laughs> they're not going to be stopped uh, like they you would have been with very good guys. Protection. What shocked me was Percy... Uh, Percy got hurt at the end there and wasn't available for overtime. Yeah. That's a, that was a surprise. He came all of a sudden. He got standing right in the end zone. He came carting off. I, I got to say though, <laughs> that son of a gun when he's in there, he's a threat, isn't he? I yes. don't know how much he's he practices. I don't but know, but man, he does things. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, he don't get hurt. They don't win the game. Well, no. maybe, maybe not. You're the coin flip there. Well, yeah. Decker had a chance to make a great catch late in the fourth quarter. If he makes that catch. They don't win the game. And he had a pretty good day, Decker did. Yeah. And if the Vikes had a better offensive line today, they'd have won easily. So that's <laughs> the same kind of ifs. Exactly. Yeah, right. If everybody's yeah. healthy and yeah. Adrian Peterson yeah, comes go. back, they win the they're game. About as good as, yeah. uh, they're about as good as 20 of them. Yeah. yeah. There's, about, there's about 20 of them that you can flip a coin. How about the New Orleans Saints last week go on the road, kick the hell out of Pittsburgh. Yep. They finally got it figured out. They could beat 41 to 10 at home today by Carolina. That's by Carolina. By Carolina. Yep. New Orleans got beat 41, 41 to 10 by Carolina in the Superdome. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say a crazy thing could happen and they can make the playoffs <laughs> yeah, when well. things like that happen. That's but right. you look at this season, I mean, it wasn't supposed to be Teddy Bridgewater, Matt Asiata, and there's some guy named Charles Johnson, a wide receiver. And those are their big three today. I'll say this. This okay. coaching staff has done one of the best jobs of improving players since the Bud Grant coaching staff. Does that include Cordero Patterson? Huh? Does that include Cordero Patterson? That they does not include him. him. <laughs> but overall, 
<laughs> They've done a very good teaching job. Charles Johnson's a good example. Green Bay releases him. Cleveland releases him. Now he's five times better than Cardell Patterson. Patterson's up here. That's his problem. You know the motto is then? Huh? Pick up anybody Green Bay releases. <laughs> yeah. Because they come here, they do pretty well. Yeah, not Sharper bad. Sharper did well. Jennings did well. Farb did well. Johnson did well. Pick up anybody Longwell they released. Longwell did well. Longwell did well. Yeah. All <laughs> no, the Browns released. Dave them. Roller. Dave <laughs> Roller. <laughs> hey, what, uh, what was that like the other day for you? But They named a street after Bud Grant, and you were in the middle of it. Pardon me? What was that like when they named the street after Bud Grant? You were one of the speakers. You had a big purple hat on. Well, I, I thought he had a pretty good crack. He says, I didn't think I was that good. He's the last guy who wants any of these tributes. He fights everyone. And then he goes home and talks to his kids, and they talk him into it. He had 40 people from his family at that deal, kids, grandkids, great-grandkids, and stuff like that. I'll and they're the ones that talk him into doing these I things. I didn't realize how highly you thought of the Wolves, but you said that day, as good as they've ever had, huh? I think the Wolves are. Better than uh, Wheelock and those guys? Better than Wheelock Whitney and that group? Let me tell you something. You tell me... Roger Hedrick and uh, other ownerships that would have spent the money they spend. I would have spent it to know what I'm getting in return. For that grant thing. Oh, for the grant? I, yeah, Red, like, Red McCombs did a lot of that stuff. With yeah. the, the he did not. What are you talking about? Alumni, he was all hold, over. Hold on, What McCombs did, he, he put a scholarship in his name at the University of Minnesota. Yeah. McCombs had no air conditioning in the locker room. He had a leaking... What you call the white don't He mean, said he what? wouldn't do anything. He did that. He did a lot of things that and you, you don't know. And you never brought that up to Red when he was yeah. here. McCombs Take a nothing. break. Come back. Stay with us. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24 7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King. For the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. And Soundpoint Audiology. Life is worth hearing. Quality. It's the result of shared values. The joy found in an honest day's work. Respect for true American craftsmanship. And the need, not the want, to get things right. It's the result of remembering your roots. Being forever humbled by how far you've traveled and forever hungry to push on further. Quality is a result. Quality is who we are. Cambria. Family owned. American made. You're watching CW23. drink and drive because in real life there is no rewind extra dwi enforcement is now on minnesota roads happy holidays mr scrooge but wait there's more with xfinity you get the fastest in-home wi-fi it's a miracle Plus, you can watch your favorite Xfinity on-demand TV shows and movies anywhere on any device. Bring power to your presence with the X1 Triple Play for $89.99 a month for a year with double the internet speed. Plus, ask about a free Samsung tablet. Hurry, this offer won't last. Call or go online today. Hi, I'm Anthony Weedo, the CEO at Old Country Buffet. For us, offering endless choices never means sacrificing the quality your family deserves. That's why we're preparing new individual entrees made just for you. Like our new steak tastic creations, five delicious takes on our legendary grilled steak. And don't miss our new cheesecake shooters. So, whether you're new to our family or one of our regulars, I want to invite you in to Old Country Buffet. I guarantee you'll love it or we'll make it right. See why more people are coming to Audi than ever before at Audi Minneapolis. Experience the legendary performance and handling of an A4 2.0 T Quattro. Lease yours for only $379 a month. Plus, Audi Minneapolis will make your first month's payment. Or try out the luxury and power of an A6. Lease for just $4.99 a month. The Summer of Audi event. 
at Audi Minneapolis on 394 at General Mills Boulevard and at AudiMinneapolis.com. Main Street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed. They understand what you need. And they are your personal answer. Your friend in business and in life. Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life. Because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank. It's a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. Looking for a nice, big, juicy rack of ribs, fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the Buddy Bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner, John White, have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner, Pat Montague, gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour, just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington, locally owned, nationally known, Hoyt's. J.D. Hoyt's, locally owned, nationally known, a supper club, chopped steak, seafood, and much more in Washington. Perfect this holiday season. J.D. Hoyt's, little glitz and glamour. Is that a new logo? They got a new logo. It's a nicer commercial. Uh, yeah, Sid Hartman even eats there once in a while. Ooh, That's wonderful. Yeah. We can move it down to the Gophers because they're next on our menu. They're going to the Citrus Bowl. You had an interesting article in the paper. Well, I think this is a very good move. I think normally people don't follow them. I think this will be the biggest following they'll have had since Clem Haskins brought all the guys to San Antonio. 97, yeah. Not that many people. No. But a lot more than ever. Well, yeah, because if you can take your kids to Disney World right up to the game That's if you right. want. It's Christmas vacation. Say right. that. If you let me say that. <laughs> <laughs> he talks too much. He's a like Lavelle right. and Lurtz, yeah. he said. Huh? You think this is your show? Yeah. No, what do you think, Patrick? <laughs> I tell you, they ought to send a bouquet of flowers to Barry Alvarez. Somehow, they can. Mississippi. Last week, Michigan State was seventh and Mississippi State was eighth. And if Michigan, then the Orange Bowl was going to get the best seeded of those two teams. Which meant if Michigan State went to the Orange Bowl, then a Big Ten team could not go to the Citrus Bowl. Michigan State and Michi Mississippi State did not play. They did, did not play. Off weeks. And they put Mississippi State ahead of Michigan State. So they would go to the Orange Bowl, and then the Big Ten could have team a team go to the Citrus Bowl and the Outback yep. Bowl, and uh, the Cotton Bowl. And then then Michigan State stayed in the bowls anyway. They went. Where's to the Wisconsin bowl. going? I don't even know. Playing Auburn. Auburn someplace. I don't Louis, know. they're not nice, in one nice of the bowl, big games. man. It's nice for a fundraiser like you. Well, it's a great bowl because we got a lot of people living in uh, South Florida. And you would think that many of them will take the opportunity to drive up to the game, including as you said, including me. I don't live there, though. I just, you just go drive back and over forth there. every week. But like you said, Max, he's very important for families who want to go take their children or grandchildren, visit Disney World, uh, Disneyland, get the opportunity to go over to uh, see the bowl game and uh, spend a New Year's They'll there. They'll play a team they can beat. And, it's, beat on, and it's on and ABC. Can beat them. It's on ABC. And uh, okay. January 1st, which is really important. Can he talk, please? Indiana <laughs> <laughs> beat Missouri. And the other night, Michigan, uh, Alabama just ran to It was close him. for a while. I'll tell you who was doing a great job for Alabama, boy. He got himself in a lot of trouble, but that Lance Kiffin, boy. Or Lane Kiffin. He is a sharp well, son of a gun. I'd like to be no coordinator yeah, there, but Patrick, I, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I think I could be. Uh, He's their offensive coordinator. You don't either that guy or that guy <laughs> or that guy. He throws you everyone's uh, most open, they're all going to be but open. But I agree with Sid. Missouri got beat home 50 to nothing by Georgia. Uh, somehow they won that division, and uh, to have them end up uh, as your opponent, uh, I'd rather play them than Auburn, I think. I think so, too. Well, Auburn, uh, yeah. For sure. I think Auburn's going <laughs> to get Wisconsin, right? Uh, yeah, all Wisconsin's got all That'll be a good game. That'll yep. be a good game. But Michigan State has got uh, Baylor. Well, so that'll be a good game. They're going to get some three, four guys back who were hurt during the season, including a couple offensive yeah. linemen. And uh, I don't know, he got on a TV show of the Wisconsin-Ohio State game, 
And he said the defense will be better next year. That's what he said, Mr. Kill. How did uh, Wisconsin throw up that turkey yesterday? Ooh, that one, oh uh, I thought that, I really that thought that Wisconsin was going to beat it. Well, there's a favorite going in, just for the sake of, I mean. Wisconsin was? Yeah, yeah. because of the quarterback. Because of the quarterback. Situation. Yeah. I want to see what their fourth team is. Yeah. <laughs> does, does, does that tell you something when your third team quarterback Six, five, gets 50. the most valuable player and, you know, yeah. his first start? Tell you what, they got beat. They got one of the great coaches of all time at Ohio State. This guy has won every place he's been. I'll never forget. Give us a little Holt story. I here. met him as a young intern at for Holtz at Notre Dame. He was with Holtz for four years. One year as an intern, three years as a coach. Holtz says to me one day when I was down there, there's going to be one of the greatest young brains in the business. Goes to Bowling Green, wins the championship. Goes to Utah, wins the championship. Goes to Florida, wins two national championships. Now he goes here, and I'll tell you what, he'll win another national championship. So what, he, he pointed to this guy, and you've kind of been tracking him ever since, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Urban Meyer. He, hadn't he, lost, he did lose a Big Ten game and the Big Ten title, title game, game last year at Michigan State. That's the only game he lost, but this kid... This, kid, this is the shocked. kid who a couple of years ago tweeted out that, uh, why do we have to go to class? This kid that played quarterback, he says, we came here to, we came here to play football, not to play school. <laughs> 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 they took the tweet down about an hour Shortly later. Shortly thereafter. Yeah, yeah, right. right. But, yeah. but man alive, he just lit him up. Wisconsin, <laughs> Wisconsin put 70 on Nebraska a couple of years ago in that title game. And yeah, remember that? Yeah. Well, they're, they're all did. talking about the defense from Alabama, but to hold Gordon to 77 yards. Yeah. Says they got a pretty good defense, hey, too. Gordon really hurt his chances. He made 71 yards. 60 of it when the game was all over in the fourth quarter. 11 yards he made going into the fourth quarter. And Jerry Kill won the Big Ten Coach of the Year. Yeah, he should be Coach of the Year. Yeah. If one at Michigan, one at Nebraska. Put 50 on Iowa. Should have beat, it, should have beat Wisconsin if they don't get some terrible calls. Oh, now the refs won that game. Last week you said the refs didn't win that cost them the game. Things change. You've Over changed now? Week. He didn't have a chance to look at the film and break no, it down. Okay. Until now. Right. Take a break, come back. Ever wonder, why do I hear but not understand? Scientists at Cambridge University discovered the answer. Inside your cochlea, there are thousands of tiny hearing hair cells. Poor hearing occurs when regions of these hair cells die. Amplifying a dead region with hearing aids makes you hear worse, not better. The result of this study is a hearing clarity breakthrough. Using standard test equipment, dead regions of your cochlea are identified. Then, a new type of frequency-shaping hearing aid is programmed to bypass the dead regions. Only your usable hearing hair cells receive amplification. Brilliant. A local study is underway. 100 citizens with hearing problems are needed to receive this testing and then wear the tiny device for 10 days, recording your results. Call now to see if you qualify. Volunteers may keep the product at a special discount if they desire. Don't miss this opportunity. Call now. Thanks for watching CW23. Main Street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed. They understand what you need. And they are your personal answer. Your friend in business and in life. Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life. Because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank. It's a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. In a world full of compromise, the Audi A3 takes a different path. Get uncompromised design, the style and presence of Audi in a lighter, smaller form, uncompromised performance, a lightning-quick turbocharged engine, and race-bred S-Tronic transmission. Uncompromised luxury with standard leather seating and panoramic sunroof. Lease your A3 for only $299 a month. Plus, during the Summer of Audi event, Audi Minneapolis will make your first payment. Stay uncompromised. Audi Minneapolis.
There it is, out in Minneapolis. Stop on by, say hi to Charlie and the gang. This holiday season, you want to do something special? Maybe get a tax deduction, get one of those SUVs, surprise that special someone in your life. Welcome back to the sports show. I mean, I want to say one thing to man, to Louie. Yeah. Those Gopher fans are something, man. They love all the celebration, but they don't want to pay for it. Beyond the scholarship seating, today, the first thing they were doing was complaining about the price of tickets to fly to Capitol Bowl, Capitol or whatever we call it now, the Citrus yeah. Bowl. Come on, you cheapos, you've been waiting for this for 50 years. What, were they complaining about it? Oh, it's 600 bucks. Buy a ticket. You got a Visa card, you cheapos. Sun, Co Sun Country can get you there. Yes, yes right. they can. They fly right there. They You're can. right. They fly there, and it's very easy to get there. Little three hour by, flight. By the way, I should point out the Davis, the prices, the hang on, the Davis family, there was a nice article about them in your paper today. What's that? The Davis family, there was a nice article in your a paper. Great story about it. I was just going to say this on Friday, they were convinced they're going to Holiday Bowl. No, oh, I don't mm -hmm. know about that. Well, yeah, uh, well, I, they were convinced. I was there. Yeah. They were. If, they thought Michigan yeah. State was going to the Orange Bowl, yeah. so they didn't think they were going to the Centrist Bowl. That's for yeah. sure. Tory Hunter, Patrick, how's that strike you? Ah, that's fine. They got no outfielders here, so they could use one. I would. Uh, I don't like the idea of playing him and right and uh, Hunter and and RC and left. RC might kill himself in left field. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, but I don't think Molly will be as uh, uh, set in his ways as Gardner. They'll start off that way, and if Ozzie runs into the wall about three times down at Fort Myers, they'll flip flop him. But uh, yeah, I'm for it. He's, he might have a year left in him. I'd take 83 RBIs. That's what he had this year. Yeah, Louis. Well, I think that the kind of guy he is too. They can use in the clubhouse. They, they need him. He's he always keeps himself in shape. He works hard. Uh, you know, 40 today isn't like 40 in the past years. These guys. We signed Brett Favre yeah. when he was 40 yeah. for an hour and match. And give us a year like Brett Favre. Yeah, give him one of those. We'll take yeah. that all the time. Yeah, he's a good addition. Whether whether he plays every game. Did you do that very game. often? Did you bring back a hometown? Yeah. Bobby Smith you brought yeah. back once, yeah, right? Yeah, we brought, we brought back a few guys back here. We, you know, we uh, brought Giles back. I think it was yeah. Maxwell we brought back. Yeah. Sid? I think they accomplished two things. They got a right-hand hitter they need who showed at Detroit last year that he still got something left. And they had to do something to excite the public. And I think this team did excite the public. They had to make some kind of a move to get people to say, okay, to pull out there doing something. 10.5 million the right number, though? Huh? I think uh, they're overpaying them, but I think uh, they couldn't get them otherwise. Yeah, I think you're right. The way the prices are going this winter, I, I, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cheap. I mean, I can't believe 10.5 is overpaid, but uh, the way prices are going crazy. Over, no, but 10.5 is, is, is overpaid the way prices are going because they're going crazy. Yet, on the other hand, when you look at 10.5, you say, how good does anybody ever make 10.5? <laughs> you know, even your best player. At age 39. It's amazing. You know. It's amazing. It's just, but just think the fact in that sports, what's going on. And that's why it's surprising that if Patrick's right that people are complaining about going to a bowl game and paying for a ticket. Please, we haven't been there for 100 years. Well, Tory Hunter can go. Come to the game. <laughs> <laughs> I looked this up, by the way. 19, uh, six, January 1, 1962. That's the last January yeah. bowl game. There were seven bowl games then. There are now 38. Is that what it is? Now, now you know you got to check the check. The That's price. how long ago it was. What were airline tickets then compared <laughs> yeah. to today? I wonder. Probably uh, just as much. Yeah, so much. Because it wasn't. Uh, Take a break and come back. If you guys could go on a free shopping spree anywhere, where would you go? I go to the grocery store. Pizza, ice cream. I go shop for clothes. You know where I go? I go to Ticket King. Ticket King! Ticket King, you can buy great seats for the Vikings, Christian Bonder, the Wild, Zach Parisi, the Timberwolves, and of course the Twins. We, we love the Twins. Yes, this is where I go Vikings, Twins, Wild, Timberwolves, Gophers, Theater, and Concerts, too. Justin Bieber! Hey, I like him first. For details, go to TicketKingOnline.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere. It's the real thing. It's Ticket King. Right, Dad? Couldn't have said it any better myself. That's, That's for right. sure. You're watching CW23. Looking for a nice, big, juicy wreck of ribs? 
fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the Buddy Bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner John White have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner Pat Montague gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington, locally owned, nationally known, Hoyt's. Ever wonder, why do I hear but not understand? Scientists at Cambridge University discovered the answer. Inside your cochlea, there are thousands of tiny hearing hair cells. Poor hearing occurs when regions of these hair cells die. Amplifying a dead region with hearing aids makes you hear worse, not better. The result of this study is a hearing clarity breakthrough. Using standard test equipment, dead regions of your cochlea are identified. Then, a new type of frequency-shaping hearing aid is programmed to bypass the dead regions. Only your usable hearing hair cells receive amplification. Brilliant. A local study is underway. 100 citizens with hearing problems are needed to receive this testing and then wear the tiny device for 10 days, recording your results. Call now to see if you qualify. Volunteers may keep the product at a special discount if they desire. Don't miss this opportunity. Call now. See why more people are coming to Audi than ever before at Audi Minneapolis. Experience the legendary performance and handling of an E4 2.0 T Quattro. Lease yours for only $379 a month. Plus, Audi Minneapolis will make your first month's payment. Or try out the luxury and power of an A6. Lease for just $499 a month. The Summer of Audi event at Audi Minneapolis on 394 at General Mills Boulevard and at AudiMinneapolis.com. Main Street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed. They understand what you need. And they are your personal answer. Your friend in business and in life. Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life. Because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank. It's a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. Beacon Bank, a great partner. I went hunting with Bob Weiss, the owner of Beacon Bank, the other day, and he's pretty good with a shotgun, too, and over under 20 gauge of pheasants. What a great partner for life. What great people. Stop by Beacon Bank today. Say, so, you entered, you, met, you entered, mentioned the Davis family. Yeah. I was talking to a member of the Davis family who claims that on his pheasant ranch down there, he had an occasion to just get rid of a raccoon. Yep. Claims it weighed 42 pounds. A 42-pound raccoon? I told him, that's a wolverine. A that's a, was he, yeah, a he, a he was right a to get rid of that raccoon. A 42-pound raccoon could eat a child. <laughs> yeah. See, Louis, the, the wild, are they underachieving here? Well, I, I don't think that they're underachieving, but I will tell you that our goaltending that started off very, very good has been erratic. Ooh. The campers, specifically. Maybe they're going to have to play backs for more. And I, they definitely they got a couple goals in the power play, but they got, got to get more that way. But here you are, constantly, they've always got a key player out of the lineup with mumps. It's been going on for about four or five weeks. You've seen a lot, but you've never yeah, seen this, not, right? Never seen that before. But they're, they're playing hard, and they're still right they're in gonna, it. But uh, are they going to have to go get a goalie in a month? Well, maybe Baxter, if they start playing him and he plays the way he's played some games, he can do it, you, you know. Boy, you, you don't you don't go out and find a good goaltender right now. No, you'd, you'd have to give up one of your kids yeah. to get one, I'm sure. What about the Gopher hockey team? Up they down. started out that right. Yeah. They're going to be Well, the, I'm I'm saying that, you know, every other year they played real good in the last few years at the end they played Perfect. bad. And now maybe they're going to play bad early and then play real good at the end. I thought the Timberwolves had a terrible week losing five games and losing to the 76ers, no one 17, but I listened to you this morning and you sounded encouraged. Why what did he say? We had flip on. And what did he say? Well, I think he's a pretty good coach, and that's a pretty good indication. Okay, we got to go. You we'll can finish lose it next week. Off, you know? The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24-7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quart services. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. And Soundpoint Audiology. Life is worth hearing.